I just want to survive. I ain't trying to style or nothing like that. I just want to survive, okay? Put yourself in Dino Santiago's shoes, 74 years old, retired after a long career as a Golden Gate Transit bus driver, bought this house by the highway in Oakland 40 years ago. He was there when Caltrans first installed the sound wall in 1983. When it went up, did it make a difference in your quality of life in terms of the sound? Did it make the sound oh, less oh, from definitely. the highway? Oh, definitely, definitely. Oh. Well, it's a brand new house to us, okay? We didn't mind it. So to us, we imagined we were over there by the seashore, okay? But a lack of maintenance by Caltrans over the years has left the sound wall in very bad shape. After this wall starts getting decrepit and everything like that, it, it still was like the ocean, okay? But like in a tidal wave, bam, splash and all that. Dino says the sound wall along his property line has suffered six hard car crashes over the years and many more glancing blows. After this crash knocked down a large section last summer, Caltrans installed a flimsy chain link fence. Now, Dino says thieves really and the unhoused have easy access to his yard. I found homeless people sunbathing, okay? Sunbathing on my roof. And what kind of things have been stolen? Oh, my lawnmowers and stuff. So I had some tools over there. I had fishing pole. I'm an avid fisherman. They took all of that. They took my tackle boxes and stuff. Dino believes the condition of the area has led to more people thinking his home is an easy target. They broke his windows in October, so he boarded them up and started carrying a gun. I armed myself. I felt, I felt that I had to. Two guys came over here and they thought they were going to do it. I just raised my, my shirt up. They saw it and uh, they scrammed. The sound wall all along the exit is in bad shape, leaning one way or another. Check out this stoplight sign meant for cars on the exit ramp, but aiming the wrong way. Oh, yeah, that moves too. And this, a massive section of the sound wall that appears ready to fall at any moment. That's by Troy Regan's house, and he tells me cars have crashed through his part of the sound wall too. Yeah, the car came through here, and we called Caltrans to replace the wall, and they haven't came to replace it. I put this up myself. The construction worker worries that his seven kids might be in the yard for the next crash or when the wall topples over. Caltrans, does, they don't care. And this is, this is my family. This is our life. This is the life we've been living in. The horror of this fence or someone coming through this fence and killing us. This is sad. Both families want equal treatment. For Caltrans to install a masonry block sound wall like they did a few miles away in San Leandro. So I called Caltrans. At first, they insisted the agency doesn't install wooden sound walls like this and asked for some time to research the issue. Then I called the Oakland City Council member for this district. It's unsightly, it's unsafe, and it's an eyesore. Janani Ramachandran has been on the job less than a month, but she and her staff moved quickly, visiting the site and calling Caltrans. They responded to us um, immediately, um, within a couple of hours, saying they're going to be sending a maintenance crew to scope the area um, ASAP. Um, it's entirely under Caltrans jurisdiction. On Wednesday, our drone pilot spotted the Caltrans team assessing the high street sound wall on both sides of 580. And Caltrans spokesman Pedro Quintana emailed me that the agency has decided the long-term solution is to replace it with a masonry block design. The recent winter storms have exacerbated existing damage to the sound wall. They're evaluating whether it can be repaired as a temporary measure. And if it's something that can be done in-house, um, it should be fixed within one to two weeks. If they determine it's something that needs to be contracted out, potentially a little longer. Good news for Dino Santiago, but it's hard to be optimistic with all he's been through. Because if I hit the lottery, I'll be gone tomorrow. But it's the odds. Same odds as them fixing this fence.